So as you all know, I'm moving, I'm in the process of moving, and I figured so many of you liked some of my other hotel room critiques that I would do another video of the hotel room on my way to where I'm moving to. So here we have another lovely hotel um, in this bathroom. I'm just gonna take you through it really quickly and critique little spots here and there about how I'd improve the feng shui. Bathroom, not too much to say. I, as you come in here, I like it. We have really nice faux marble floors. There's a nice mix of textures. You know, if the energy needed the metal element, that's what this would all be. We have our white, we have our gray, we have the stone. These are all the metal element. We have some trim that is black. Black is the water element. So we have water and metal playing really nicely together. So not too much in here. It's a really nice balance. Let's go this way. It's a tight space. Over here, it's really cool. So we have this small space and they've utilized it pretty well. So over on this side, you have the TV and you have your couch in the power position. So when you're sitting here, power position because a strong wall is at your back and the front door or the hotel room door is in front of you. So you can see everybody coming in. So this is perfect. Really nice, nice, beautiful lamp giving good light to the room. Then as you come over here, this is where there's a little bit more to critique, I would say. So it's still a really nice blend of complementary colors. It's smooth, it feels really great in here, just like nice and neutral. That being said, it feels really good to me because of what my earth, uh, my earth mingua elements, your personal energy element is. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you have not gotten your personal energy number yet. There is a link in the description of this video. You can go and click on that link and find out your personal energy number, AKA your mingua, and that comes with what your personal element is. So you might be earth, you might be metal, and when you know your personal element, you can decorate accordingly. You can, if you're earth, let's say, fire supports earth, metal is good for earth, fire, earth, metal is a nice blend of the elements, and so you can decorate to support your mingua. Anyway, back to the space, so ignore our breakfast here. We have this nice little spot, and this is where we, I would change some things. So, like I always say, we want everything to be in the power position. So working with your back towards the door, not the power position. So what I would do is I would rotate this desk. I would anchor the edge of the desk on the wall here and I would have it come this way so that you're facing this direction. And you can see who's coming in, you can see the people in the living room area, and it's still anchored on a solid wall, and then your back is supported by a solid wall. You could also pull this desk this way and simply swap the kitchen area and the desk. But the kitchen, you know, as we all know, it's a hotel room, right? So they're consolidating space and they're making it all fit, but I would actually swap or at least get a shorter desk and rotate here. That brings me then to the mirrors of this space. So they have two on this wall, which I think is really interesting. This one is nice, it's cool, it's functional, you're getting ready, it makes sense. You can see the room. We always look at what are the mirrors reflecting. This mirror, totally cool, it's great. You can get ready here, it's all good. This is the mirror that I would maybe switch. I would move this mirror to this wall or even this wall. And here's why. Mirrors magnify what's in the space. Mirrors stir up the energy of a space. So when you're working at your desk, if you have a mirror behind you, that one, it's better to have it in front of you so you can see, like if you are facing a wall and a mirror's in front of you, it's better for you to see who's coming up behind you. So a mirror in front of you is really great. Um, but also, if your mirror is magnifying your desk, how much work do you have on your desk? How many piles do you have on your desk? That mirror is magnifying the amount of work you have to do, in a sense. So I think because this space is so small and this wall is so empty, I would move this larger mirror 
to this wall and it really pushes the energy throughout the space. I think that would feel really good. Let's go into the bedroom. So we have two beds in here and this one is, there's some big no-nos in this bedroom space. And I'm sure if you watch these videos regularly, then you know what I'm about to say. First of all, no TV in the bedroom. There's never gonna be a hotel room that doesn't have a TV in the bedroom. So, you know, we get it. Sometimes if you're really sensitive to it, you can bring your own cloth to put over it. Cause again, any hotel room you can anticipate there'll be a TV. These days TVs are so reflective, they almost act as a mirror. So one, we just don't like electronics in the bedroom, but we also don't want to see our reflection while we're sleeping. It's that whole energy clash and you're trying to rest, the reflection stirring up and taking some energy. So it's just not good and balanced. So the TV, you can, I can see my reflection right now actually. So it's nice to cover it up or if you're in a hotel room, it just says what it is. But this is a good note for your house. Then we have nice solid headboards. These are great. We have the grain of the wood pointing up though. So this is really awesome because we've talked about this before. Arrows down, the grain being down, fabric arrows pointing down. It's like an arrow to your head. It is directing the energy to your head. So this is really nice that the grain is going upwards. Then we have a couple other things. So over here, we have the mirror. So I just mentioned this, re directly reflecting the bed. So not only you have the TV reflecting, you have the mirror reflecting the bed as well. So not ideal because that's just not great for sleeping. You also over here have the door, you have a bed directly aligned with the door. So some of the biggest no-nos are mirror reflecting the bed and don't put your bed directly in line with the door. This room, C minus for how it is arranged. Now I don't blame them. There's not really anything else you could have done. This has to go all the way back to the level of the designer and how he spatially planned out the space. It kind of just is what it is because at least the beds are on a solid wall. But again, these are just like notes for your home and how you can take these and apply it to your home, right? So no bed facing the door, no bed facing a mirror. So the bedroom here is kind of the, kind of the weak spot. But those are all of my tips today. Apply them to your space. Let me know which ones you're excited about. Like this video if you liked it just a little bit. Comment below which ones apply, which tips apply to your space. And subscribe if you already haven't subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you are alerted every time these videos come out with feng shui and mindset tips. Subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.